Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, something completely different. Today, I'm going to talk about how to use Discord. So not something book related today, but something kind of book adjacent, something that I think might be helpful for people um, who watch a lot of YouTube content about books. So Discord is something you will see often mentioned in in uh, the videos of booktubers like myself. So I talk about my Discord server in my videos and, and many other booktubers have Discord servers as well. Um, and Discord is, a, is a, a way for a creator like me to build a bit of a community around their content, to provide a place for people who watch their videos to discuss those videos, to discuss the books they're reading, uh, to talk about all kinds of different things. So they have, you know, Discord servers have become often a, you know, kind of extension of people's channels. And certainly I view my Discord server as an extension of my channel. It's a, it's a, a broader way for me to, to have community and for that community to be, you know, engaged with me as a creator, but also to engage with each other um, as fans of books. So one of my uh, one of my patrons asked me the other day if I would make a video about how to use Discord, um, and I reflected on that and thought, yeah, that's probably actually a really good idea because I'm always you know encouraging people to to sign up for my Discord server, but it can definitely be a bit daunting when you do that. So this video today is going to be very much about the basics of using Discord as a as a member of a server. I won't be talking about like how to create your own server or anything like that. Um, just about the basics of you know, navigation, replying to com you know replying to other people's comments and things like that, and getting involved in the discussions that take place on Discord servers. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to show you how to use the the desktop version of Discord, but there is a there's a mobile version, so you get you know you can get apps for your phones on you know iOS and Android or for your iPad or whatever, and they all work in basically exactly the same way. And the easiest way to describe Discord, I think, is it's like the old kind of bulletin boards or web forums that you used to see, you know, years ago, but with a kind of social media kind of like layer over the top, if you like. So it's it's somewhat informed by the way people communicate and things like that using social media. But it's very much about having a you know discrete contained community of people who you you know you know or you grow to know um, whilst you use that community. So unlike something like uh, you know like like Twitter or something like that, where, you know, when you when you post a tweet, it could be seen by, you know, if it goes viral, it could be seen by millions of people. Discord, you know, Discord servers are contained. So you have to be invited to join a Discord server. Um, so you know that you will get, you know, the, the people you interact with there will be people with similar interest to you. And the people who own servers, you know, can kick people out of their servers if they misbehave. I have done that a couple of times in the past, only a couple of times. Um, so, you know, they are safe places to, to get together and chat. Um, so I'm going to use my Discord server as an example as I talk about how to use it. My Discord server, you know, is very much about books, but we do also talk about other things there. So, you know, we've got a, a sub-channel within it to talk about pets, people talk about movies, people talk about, you know, just what's going on in their lives. So it really is just a place for people who watch my videos to get together and chat. So what you will find in my videos and in other people's videos as well is a link to their Discord server. A hyperlink, if you click on that link, it will take you to a web page. If you've got one of the Discord apps um, installed, it will open uh, It will open their Discord server in the Discord app. Um, but if you haven't, um, it will just take you to like a web version. Um, and what you will need to do, you will need to create a Discord account for yourself, which is just as easy as creating an account for anything. So, you know, either you can, I think, link it to your like your Google account or your Apple account or whatever, or you can create an account with a, an email and password. Um, and once you've done that, you can you can join Discord servers. So by clicking that link in people's video descriptions, you can get into their Discord server. And every Discord server will be slightly different. The, the bookish ones tend to be, in my experience, reasonably similar in that you'll have a, a section for talking about books with different channels within that. And then, you know, maybe a section for talking about other things, maybe a section for group reads, that kind of thing. So let me show you mine uh, and we can uh, we can have a look through that together. 
So what you can see here then is the desktop version of Discord. Um, as I say, the the uh, mobile version, the mobile apps are you know very similar. They just kind of shrink things down, and, and the, the interface is very slightly different, but they basically behave in the same way. So what you can see down the left hand side here is all the different Discord servers that I am a member of. Um, so this is my one at the top. Um, and then here you've got the channels within my Discord server. So Discord was originally created for gamers as a way for them to, to chat with each other um, whilst they were playing games. So voice um, was originally a big part of Discord. I think it's less and less of an important part of Discord and certainly for all the kind of booktube discords, um, it's not really used at all. When you first install the Discord app, you may get asked to choose like an input device for your microphone, um, which, you, which you can do, but you will probably never actually need to use that. So anyway, down the side here, you've got all of the different channels um, that I've got within my Discord server. And it's very much configurable, you know, by the person who runs that server. They can choose, you know, what different discussion areas they have within the server. So this is a bit that can be a bit overwhelming for people when they first join. As you can see, there is a ton of different sections here. Now, some of these are things that are... Um, kind of redundant but which I've left there so for example there's a section here for Garb August 2023 which clearly is an, is an event that has finished now um, so that was you know the, the section of the discord server we used during Garb August in, in August of 23 to chat about you know what we were reading and, and chat generally so the way my server um, then is organized is you've got a, a kind of server stuff section at the top here where I have like an announcement section and, and rules and things like that We've got a section for non-bookish stuff, um, so a place where people can introduce themselves and when you first sign up for the Discord server, they'll, a notification will go in here to let people know that you've joined it. We've got general waffle, which is just kind of a general discussion area, um, you know, a section about gaming, a section about pets and so on. Uh, then you've got the bookish section here, which has got all sorts of different uh, book type uh, content, um, a section for... Um, so the section for Garb August, which I've just mentioned, section for buddy reads, so a section where people can arrange to do buddy reads with each other, section on movies, section on uh, booktube stuff, so for, for other creators to share their content and that kind of thing, um, you know, and various other sections as, as we go down. So if I go back to the general section, so you'll notice that some of the... Um, some of the channels are kind of greyed out and some of them are bold. So the ones that are bold are ones where there are new messages for me to read. So messages that I haven't yet read. Um, and what you can do if you find this overwhelming is, so firstly, if I click on that little uh, arrow there, um, I can hide all the, all the channels where there isn't new content for me. So I can just get rid of those so it simplifies the view a bit. So if I do that with those, you see already there's a lot less channels for me to, to worry about. The other thing you can do is you can mute a channel completely. So there's a gaming channel here. If I was someone who wasn't particularly interested in gaming, if I right click on that um, and then go down to mute channel and I can choose to mute it either for a period of time or until I turn it back on. So I'm going to mute gaming until I turn it back on and you'll see there it's disappeared. So if I expand this view now, um, you'll see gaming is still there, but it's kind of completely greyed out. So it's not going to worry me with notifications or anything like that. I can just ignore that channel. So when you sign up for a Discord server, um, you can go through and decide which channels you're interested in and which ones you aren't interested in. Mute the ones you aren't interested in and you'll get a lot less noise basically from the Discord server. And you can just focus on the parts that you're interested in. So if I now go into... Uh, general waffle which is the kind of general discussion uh, area um, you can see here you know kind of how things work so these are messages that have gone in um, over the last kind of 24 hours or so since I last checked in on it um, so different people here you know making different comments um, so a bit of a discussion going on here about the Stepford Wives um, so if I want to engage in this discussion, um, I can either just type in a comment at the bottom here, so add something new in, or I can reply to um, a particular comment. So I'm going to reply to Nick's comment here. Um, so if I go over that comment, and there you'll see this little kind of quick actions bar. So if I click on reply, uh, let's put something in there. And then just hit return and my comment has now appeared at the bottom there. Um, 
And basically, at a very, very high level, that's it. That's all Discord is. It's just a place for people to chat. So, you know, you can look through these, you know, read these comments, see what other people are talking about, get involved in those comments, um, you know, get involved in those discussions, or if you want to, just start something completely new. Um, so uh, let me put a message in, in here. So a general message. So I'm filming this on a Sunday. So let's just put happy Sunday, everyone. Lovely and sunny where I am today. You've also got um, sections down here. So there's a, a plus button there so you can upload photos and things like that. Um, as with everything nowadays, there's also a gift button so you can, you know, you can respond with gifts or add gifts. Um, so you can communicate in the way you would expect to be able to communicate in the modern world. The other thing you can do if you don't want to actually reply to a comment is you can just react to it. So uh, if I click on the, this button here, I can add a reaction to this one. Uh, so let's give it a, a heart. So uh, Thessaly's uh, friend has written a short story collection. So I'm going to I'm going to heart that comment. Um, so you can react in any different way you want. You can even have um, like server specific uh, reaction. So we've got a um, we've got a Richard Lehman reaction or a Duke Coote reaction, for example, on my server. So um, there's a load of different ways that servers can be configured to make them more kind of personalised and to give them their own identity. I think for me, the big difference between the way Discord works and the way um, like the old web forums and things like that worked is it's much more kind of user configurable. It's really easy for um, for the people who run these servers to, to set them up in exactly the way they want. And it's also really easy for users of those servers to decide which parts they're interested in. So as I've shown you, to mute certain sections so they just don't worry about that. Um, I can even go in here. So I've got a whole category here about books. I can even go in and mute that whole category if I wanted to. That would be a strange thing to do on a, on a booktube server. But if I wanted to do that, I could. If I just wasn't interested in you know the, the bookish discussions on a server, but wanted to get involved in the other ones, you can mute a whole category at once. Um, so you are only getting presented with the stuff that's really interesting to you. You can also do the kind of things you expect with your profile. So to, you know, put information in there about yourself. Uh, so if I go into edit profile, um, and you can have separate, slightly separate profiles for each server you're on, or you can use the same profile across all of them. So, you know, you can put in a photo of yourself, you can put in other bits of information and things like that. Um, so that you are you're tailoring your uh, your profile to, um, you know, to the server that you're, you're using that profile on. Um, one other thing to note is um, if I hover over my profile here, you'll see I've got roles assigned. So there are like, roles are a way that server owners can restrict access to certain parts of their server to certain groups of people. So, for example, I have a Patreon section on my server, which is only available to people who subscribe to me on Patreon. Um, so I can give those people a special patron role. And that means they can see that section of the server, whereas other people can't. So if I scroll down here, uh, you will see uh, near the bottom is the uh, is the Patreon section with all of our different uh, like monthly reads that we're doing and things like that. Um, so yeah, roles can be used by by owners of servers to make sure that people only see the content that's applicable to them. So hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully it's demystified uh, Discord a bit. It really is quite easy to use and, and also quite easy to set up so that you get out of it what you want. Uh, but if you do have any questions, either ask them in the comments here or jump on my Discord server uh, and ask them there. Um, anyway, I'll leave it there for today and say, as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.